Well, congratulations on the on the film. Thank you. Um, I'm, the thing I'm interested to ask first is, I guess it's quite an obvious question, but this period of history, I knew nothing about it. I know a lot of people perhaps don't know a lot about it. Uh, how important was it to you for, you know, as well as telling a love story, to be able to educate people about this period of history? Yeah, it was really important to me because I think this period of history is a really valuable time to study because it's so much about Britain being able to be generous rather than vengeful. And um, it's something that the British can take great pride in, that actually when the Germans were on their knees, you know, after all that devastation, all that conflict, that the British had a kind of sense of dignity and that they would actually help the Germans rather than take vengeance on them. I think that's an amazing story. Yeah, and I guess the interesting thing is that sort of multiple sides of that, I guess, are told because, you know, you've got Jason Clark's character who is quite friendly to the, the German people and Kira Knightley's character is a little bit more standoffish and doesn't quite know how to act. Um, I, I guess, was it important for you to be able to play all of the sides of that? Yeah, it's a really good question. I mean, I think um, it was really important that, that you had a British officer who did show the more humanitarian side, who was doing his job, who was doing his duty, but he obviously had a kind heart even by allowing the German family to stay in the house, whereas diametrically opposite is his wife who just sort of hates everything German. She's got a lot of animosity, a lot of um, bitterness, um, blames them for the death of her child. And I think to that extent, you know, you've got the two, the two sides kind of coming together by the end of the film, understanding each other better, but also understanding Germans better. I think she, in a way she steps towards understanding Germans in a very similar way to her husband. And as someone who um, has, has done a lot of work in sort of historical storytelling yeah. and knows your way around the history, when you get a script like this, how much of your own sort of knowledge do you bring in when you're, you're bringing it to the screen? Well, actually, I also sort of, that was my university degree was in history as well. So I love history and I love, I love the old stories and I love the fact that you can escape into history. I think cinema is a wonderful form of escape and there's nothing wrong with that. So period films... I tend to love and I tend to bring all my own love of storytelling, you know, through my love for history. And as well as being a historical story, it feels like a big, sweeping, old-fashioned romance. What were some of your kind of points of inspiration with other, other films when you were making it? Well, there were films uh, sort of as varied as um, Brief Encounter and uh, The English Patient, uh, but also The Piano by Jane Campion. I mean, sort of great epic period love stories that there's been a tradition in and I think there's no harm in maintaining that tradition because I think it's something that the audience love. They love to sort of feel the power of falling in love and after all we've all probably fallen in love and when you do you're like a captive to that other person and everything is heightened and the rest of the world goes into soft focus as you just obsess really about this other person and that's like I don't think you ever really forget it's a bit like a rites of passage to fall in love. It's like one of those high points of your life and maybe you're lucky to have it more than once, but you definitely remember every moment that happens and consequently heartbreak is the opposite. It can be full of, of such sort of negative feelings and grief. Um, so I think it's sort of, if you're telling emotional stories, then I think love is a great area to be in. Definitely, and so a lot of your background is, uh, is, in, is in television and, and TV work. Yeah. And obviously the relationship between TV and cinema has changed massively even yeah. in the last few years. Yeah. Kind of, where do you see yourself, I guess, in that landscape now where a lot of film directors are going back to TV? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I, I'm very happy to gravitate between the two. You know, I think you go where the best script is, where the best chance of getting great actors are. And, you know, if I can skate between the two, that'd be amazing. Um, but I've just done a big series with Richard Gere for the BBC called Mother, Father, Son that comes out March the 4th, eight hours. Wow. And that, you know, that's television at its highest level. It's sort of great production values, great cast. Um, you know, could easily be the same cast as you have pretty well for a film, um, but it's on television. So, you know, when you're shooting and directing, you don't think you're in television and, oh, and now I'm in film. You're just doing the job. So in terms of the everyday experience of actually making something, there's really very little between it. It's just the end result is different. Mm -hmm. And um, so I always go to where the best scripts would be, I think. Great, and as a, as a last question, um, we've seen you do a couple of now big historical dramatic yeah. films. Is that something you want to stay on with your film work or will we be seeing you do something considerably different? Well, I would love to do something considerably different. I mean, it's 
I wouldn't say you get typecast, but obviously people have got past bits of work to look at, past films, past television projects to look at. And they sort of quite often make a judgment on that rather than necessarily what you would bring. But in a way, the Richard Gere project is a thriller. So that's eight hours of thriller. So although it's not a film, it's another side of what I can do. And that's one reason why I chose to take the job, because it would show that I had a much more contemporary energy as well as being a period director.